phrase of like how I applied to medical school. This is how I studied for the MCAT. And so I'm basically a business undergrad, a business graduate student as an MBA. I didn't have a science background. And so I basically took the MCAT without having most of the prerequisites done, or I was taking them at the same time as I was taking the MCAT. And so basically I had to teach myself most of the content. So these are the resources that I used. So first I had UWorld. I thought that was super helpful. I had the MCAS like practice um, exams and questions. I also had a Kaplan book set. I had a really old edition from a friend. It was like five years old, but I think it was sufficient. I did have the Princeton Review one, but there's a caveat on that. I didn't like it as much for certain things. Um, and then I also used um, the MCAT Bros um, 300 page book or whatever you call it, document for the psychosocial section. Um, so first, basically my timeline was, I kind of started like December of winter break and I was like, you know, I'm gonna take the MCAT. And so I basically started with the 300 page MCAT bro book to learn the psychosocial portion because that was like easiest for me because I, the science ones were kind of like over my head. And so basically I would just do like two or three sessions, sections per day. And I actually made handwritten cards for that, but you can definitely find an Anki set that correlates to it and it saves you time. But I just like my cards in a certain order in a certain way. And then starting in January, I started studying for the chemistry and biology section. I would read one chapter of chemistry and one chapter of biology or two chapters of biology depending on the day. <clears throat> Sorry. And then after I would read the book, I would make handwritten note cards about that chapter. And then I would review those note cards the next morning to make sure I really had it down. And every day in the morning before I would read a new chapter, I would review the old note cards that I had and go through each one of them every single day. And I know that sounds like a lot, but once you start memorizing them, you can really flip through those cards pretty fast. And then I would say that my favorite resources as someone who doesn't have a science background was I really loved the biology from Kaplan. I thought that it was really well written. I thought the one from the Princeton Review, I personally found it too difficult for me to comprehend. I didn't really know what some of the definitions of the words meant and I ended up having to Google words and like the definition, like basic things. Like I didn't know what like what it means to like phosphorylase or kinase or um, things like it innervates a muscle. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. So I'd have to Google it. But Kaplan, I felt like it was pretty solid. For chemistry, I really loved actually the Princeton Review book. I thought it was very straightforward and simple. Um, for biochemistry, I also went back to Kaplan. I really loved the way they written it and I thought it was more simple. I think the Princeton Review was also too way over my head. And same with the organic chemistry, I ended up using Kaplan as well but I did have to have like maybe three or so private sessions from like a tutor I found on Facebook to help me really understand the concepts but I wouldn't say like organic chemistry was like my best subject um, on the MCAT and then for physics I really liked the Princeton Review one so if you're thinking about buying a set and you can kind of piecemeal them together I would say like biology is solid for Kaplan and biochemistry and then I would say chem phys was best from the Princeton Review. And then I would say psych and social, I wouldn't even get a book. I would just use the MCAT one, the MCAT Bros um, 300 page document. I thought that was sufficient and it was very thorough. And if you needed more of a refresher, you could go on Khan Academy and the videos were linked directly to um, the concepts in that 300 page document. So it was really nice to see a visual of that. I think psych social is my best section. For cars, I didn't do that well, so I don't really have any resources that I would say I really loved. I did do the Princeton Review cars um, book, um, but I didn't find it that helpful. And I also did the AMCAS like cars reasoning questions, and I it just I I never got the logic, so I don't know. It's not my best subject, so I don't want to put my advice out there. Um, I would say I studied solidly for like two months like really, really rapidly review because I think the first month I was taking like 27 credits because I was still finishing up my MBA and taking 18 credits in the sciences and I still had a full-time job working eight to five every single day. Um, so it is doable if you do have a full-time job, you just have to be very diligent about what you do. I usually study before work because my brain's more refreshed and after work, I just, it's just, my brain's tired and it's not that efficient. Um, but for the two months prior, I, in February and March, Yes, I basically did review 
and I was doing U World at the same time. So if I read a chapter about like something about in general chemistry, I would try to do the same U World questions about that as well. I didn't really do the end of the chapter book questions because I felt like they weren't as relevant, but I thought U World was really good and I would just do the questions over and over again. I didn't make it through everything, but I got through most of the questions in U World. And then starting a month from my exam, so I took the exam on April 30th, I started doing the actual AMCAS like questions, but I would say I would have given myself maybe a month and a half or even two months to do those questions because I thought they were so much more different than the U World questions. I felt the U World questions were more about your concepts of things and it was based, the questions were more of like, here's the passage and then here's the question, but the question didn't really make you have to understand the passage as much. It was more like, this is a concept. So what, what is the answer? Versus I think the AMCAS questions are more like the passage based. And so you have to really reason through the question based on the passage and you will didn't. So that was a huge shift for me. And once I got that, then my score started going up a little bit higher, especially in the biology and chemistry sections. So I would give yourself enough time to do the AMCAS ones and even do it twice. So you really understand it. Um, so yeah, I know some people did create like an Excel document about problems they got wrong and things like that. I did that, but I don't know if it was like that much helpful because when I did like the practice exams for like the Princeton review, they would break it down um, in terms of like what subjects you didn't do as well in versus ones you did. And so the ones I didn't do well and I would try to review it again in the book or do more practice questions on those. Um, <clears throat> but I think if you're trying to study for the MCAT, by yourself just be patient with yourself and give yourself enough time um and then maybe have a few private sessions if you can um for concepts you really just can't understand and if you don't understand everything it's not the end of the world um you can still miss quite a few questions and still score okay um so that's just my opinion um but yeah in terms of practice exams i took a practice exam so my preliminary score back in december after i studied for like two weeks was a 498 and then my actual real score was a 507 my lowest was cars at 124 and i believe i got 127 in biology and then chem phys and then i got 129 in psych social um i basically would take a practical exam every month or every two weeks i had a lot of princeton review full length exams and i wouldn't break them apart i would take the full thing at the whole time and i actually like to review the questions right after i did them so that it was fresh in my mind about the passages um, but that's just me and I know some people get really tired after taking such a long exam. So that's just kind of how I studied for the MCAT. Um, I know what works for me might not work for you, but those are just the resources I found really helpful as someone who's a non-traditional student and doesn't have a science background and kind of basically was starting from scratch. So.